If there's one thing fire needs, it's fuel, which means dry wood and underbrush that quickly ignites. We all like to look at all the trees and all the things around our house, but they're not very pretty when they're black. That's the warning Tony McWilliams gives to residents of Lincoln National Forest. There are neighbors on the other side of the fence. Um, we can only be so effective if they're not doing something on their own private property. McWilliams isn't a doctor, but he writes prescriptions. That's because as a fuels management specialist, he plans to control burns. The Forest Service calls them prescribed burns. He joined a hotshot crew in 1988, and he says he's stepped foot on just about every acre in this park. The topography isn't what's changed over all these years. But fuels changes dramatically on depending on aspect, depending on whether it's been thinned or not, on, on so many elements, you know, in the fuel side of it. And then weather, we all know weather's dynamic. Molly Wright is on the fuels crew here at Lincoln National Forest, where the season marks one of the driest and windiest on record. I've been fighting fires since I was 18. Uh, my dad did it when he was in college, so it was a good way to make an income and uh, fell in love with it. Wright is on the ground monitoring the underbrush and preparing the prescribed burns. She faces danger every day, but is prepared for the unexpected. I had a coworker who he, he did get injured. He got burned a little bit on his face and um, I'm, I'm glad he's okay. But uh, a lot of folks out here and most of the districts I've been on, again, safety is a top priority. So there are checks in place. Like if you'll notice right there with Calvin and with our, my coworker, Logan, he's kind of keeping him back at a safer distance. That way, if the chainsaw did come back, it wouldn't hit him. McWilliams wants to make it clear, thinning the forest does not prevent forest fires. That's not the case at all. What we're doing is, is we're trying to, to uh, thin the forest, remove the excess woody biomass material, and make it, uh, fire behavior, if it were to catch on fire, manageable safely by firefighters. We don't think of any of these fires as natural, but long before the national parks were created, these trees burned on a regular basis. This ecosystem, it, it evolved with fire as part of it. We as a human species, we wanna manage that. We don't like fire, especially we don't like fire in bad places, like next to houses, next to communities. That's why planning and cooperation from residents is so important. So when these men and women get the call, they'll be able to battle the flames as safely as possible. At Lincoln National Forest, Sloan Patton, KRWG News.